All right, today we're taking a look at my Timex Marlin hand wound and uh, Peanuts Snoopy Dancing reissue 34 millimeter in red. The watch is available online through Timex and is much more affordable than the Omega Speedmaster Silver Snoopy Award 50 Anniversary Edition. Not to mention there's no weight list and a lot more wearable at 34 millimeter. Here it is on my six and a quarter inch wrist, then the Speedmaster at 42 millimeters. As the name suggests, this is a brand new reissue of a watch from 1976. And uh, this one is a in a series of Timex Marlin 34 millimeter reissues in, from, the, um, from the 60s. And th this is, I don't know, the sixth or seventh, or they're, they've been doing it for quite, quite a few years. Uh, this watch features Snoopy from the Peanuts cartoon in the middle of the dial. As you can see, he has the hour and minute hands in the middle of the dial. And Woodstock, a small yellow bird, and uh, also known as Snoopy's best friend, serving as the second hand. The red dial has the 3, 6, 9, 12 o'clock Arabic numerals printed in black and the Timex logo right here at the three o'clock position. The interesting part here is that Woodstock seems to be floating, if you can see, um, on the seconds track. From the pictures online, I thought perhaps it was a clear seconds hand, like there's like a, just a clear acrylic hand. Um, but that's actually not true. If I can tilt it a little bit, you can all of a sudden now see that the seconds hand is actually not a hand, it's a whole clear round disc that rotates and gives the illusion that Woodstock is flying around the uh, as the seconds go by. And kind of, you can kind of see at certain angles that disc is more visible than others. And you can see, if I tilt it right, you can see the edge of the disc right here at more acute angles. And the clear layer, depending on the angle you're looking at, definitely breaks the illusion a little bit. I think a clear seconds hand would have been just fine. And uh, also, it does come with this very cool box that is actually um, Snoopy's doghouse. Let me open it up. It has a thing in here, it says the world's best love comic strip and the world's best watch brand. And so it comes in a very unique box. And um, the movement, uh, there's not that much information from Timex aside from the fact it's hand wound, but the consensus is that it's a modified Chinese Seagull ST6 movement with the automatic rotor removed and added a few jewels to be 20 joules. You can feel the winding of the movement. You can also hear it. And then when it's fully wound, you can definitely feel the resistance. And uh, I don't think you want to wind it any further to break it. Though, like I said, the watch is very wearable. The case is 34 millimeter and here it is on my six and a quarter inch wrist, although under the zoom, it looks like a ginormous wrist. It's definitely not. Um, and it's 34 millimeters wide and lug to lug, lug to lug. You can see the lug here. The lug to lug is 41 and a half millimeters. And the thickness here, you can see very large dome crystal. And at this angle, you can actually see the seconds disc rotating with woodstock on it and uh, a lot of it is the dome acrylic crystal and uh, that's about the whole thickness is about 10 and a half millimeters um, and then you can also see the red strap is very glossy uh, much more than it shows on the website and then you can see these are quick release straps and you know, now I come think of it with all this red, why didn't they do a uh, Snoopy Red Baron motif? That would have been a very natural tie in here. Um, the quick release leather straps are 18 millimeters 
wide. And uh, and on the let's take a look at back at the case. It says Timex Peanuts, copyright twenty twenty three, and the model number TW two W two six two zero zero B seven. And it even tells you it's eighteen millimeter lug. And surrounding it, it says uh, water resistant thirty meters. The website address, tin winding, and stainless steel. So pretty cool watch, and like I said, uh, very cool if you're a fan of Snoopy and uh, and uh, hand wind watches of a certain or smaller smaller size. And so if you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment, etc. for the YouTube algorithm gods.